This is the Feelings and Philosophy podcast, which is pretty much um, a podcast where I walk through my feelings about things, about life, and philosophize about why I'm feeling what I feel. I won't try to find ways to improve my situation. Now, ultimately, the goal is to hopefully progressively refine myself until I'm able to get to a place where I operate for the most part from a place of peace and love and happiness now a ton of this would be about me but this is not a podcast to ramble about myself because I'm some deranged individual who thinks I'm special it's a podcast where I talk about myself because I know what it feels like to be alone because I know what it feels like to be lonely because I know what it feels like to feel rejected because I know what it feels like to feel like you are lost and because I know that there is a ton of people out there who feel the same And so for the most part, this podcast is going to start out as a secret. It's going to start out as something that is for just me. But if I do share it with you, then I'm essentially trying to let you know that I love you. And I take personal interest in your happiness and i'm hoping that through listening to me talk about things that you can relate with in some way your chances of finding peace and happiness in this world of trouble would increase and i hope that it is something that you would appreciate And I hope that it is something that would truly, truly, truly bring you value. Now, a ton of this would be recorded from my room quietly. With me just sitting in the dark with my thoughts like I am right now. So every time like you hear my voice, I'd like you to think about it like you're sitting with me in the dark and we're running through these feelings. Now, a couple of days back, I put out a video on YouTube where I talked about how I was able to overcome my negative thoughts and in some way, find happiness now the view wasn't to say that i am now the happiest person in the world which i'm not but it was to express how i have found that finding happiness as an individual starts with choosing happiness And for the longest part of my life, I had never chosen happiness. I had gotten so used to operating from a place of pain and operating from a place of trauma and operating from a place of fear that I was always on the defensive 
about how I did things. Like, I would always prepare for the worst. Be afraid of hoping for the good stuff. Stay significantly pessimistic. Ultimately to avoid heartbreak. And ultimately to not hurt myself for that. Just accept that this is what life is. But I'm coming like into a new realization that if truly my goal in life is to eventually figure out how to operate from a place of love, from a place of peace, from a place of happiness, then it has to be intentional. And so for the past couple of weeks, I have been making conscious decisions some small a little here and a little there to in some way improve the quality of my life and get me closer to that goal so putting out the video was a way for me to celebrate that win and yeah just move on from it as well which was an intentional decision to do things a little differently because for the longest part of my life i have never been someone to celebrate wins i've always been the type of guy to do something that is significantly remarkable and just be like yeah i did that um what's next so, so this was significant for me and i I'm proud of myself for doing that. That said, I am currently in the city of Abuja in Nigeria. Um, so I'm recording this right now from an Airbnb I rented. And yeah, it's a really nice room. What am I doing in Abuja? So I came here a couple of days ago to sort of process my visa apparently at some point in my life or a couple of months years actually back i have i found a school i felt like i could attend so there's been plans to in some way go back to school and just like study business right now that's on the side anyway but i came from lagos i mean originally i tried to apply to lagos US Embassy in Lagos. I got a date, an interview date for next year, which is like June 2022. And that was too far because my school resumes at the end of this month, which is like August 28th. So I'm like, okay, what do I do? I kept trying to get like an expedited um, appointment and stuff. But then like I eventually gave up because the dates, available dates shifted to like 2024. And just for the record, in case you forgot, we're in 2021. So, yeah, so I decided to like move from Lagos down to Abuja to do the interview. I applied to the embassy here, moved, shift, um, changed my application, and all that. And I was able to get an expedited emergency thing, and it was for August 16th, 2020. So, that was it. I went for the interview. And this was like two or three days after I posted the video about overcoming my negative thoughts and choosing happiness. So there was a lot of energy for me going into this interview. There was a lot of positivity. There was a lot of not second guessing things. There was a lot of not um, creating multiple backup plans. I went all in. Um, and my visa was denied. Yeah. And I was heartbroken. I still am heartbroken. Um, for a number of reasons. But at this point, the struggle became 
it was it felt like i had just put out a video about choosing happiness and the universe was trying to see if i could really choose happiness like it was it's just like you you say go but can you do it because i'm faced with a very serious disappointment just barely two days after posting the video and i had done a lot of things in preparation for this i went all in i had sold significant a significant portion of my possessions i had um paid money for a lot of things had spent some significant money i think i've spent again not entirely to the applic on the application process but in this period i spent about two million hour on a number of things the things that came up at some point my laptop screen got bad during the process and i had to change that so this was really disappointing but i realized it was an opportunity to practice what i teach um an opportunity to actually practice what i have learned um it was an opportunity for me to choose happiness despite this and it was tough it was really difficult i think i went through several emotions i cried yet again i cried i cried and it was even more difficult because lots of people were calling me and making me retell the same story um you know i think this i would make one of these where i talk about grief and helping people deal with it slash how i deal with it but i think there's a lot we can learn around how we deal with people who are grieving so grieving some some disappointment or something that just or the death of someone some loss of some form but then um a lot of calls i had to relieve the moment over and over again i had to it was like i took two steps forward and then someone calls me and drags me back to the center of it uh, at some point i think i started getting uh irritated at some point i stopped talking at some point i started ignoring calls and messages and all that um yeah really um while i'm not over it yet i i am happy that in some way i am still happy i am happy that it has not pulled me down like it would normally like if this was two three four weeks before now chances are it would have affected me way more than it has at the moment and i would latch onto it as some sort of energy to drive me through a couple of things oh they didn't grab me the visa right i'm going to do this i'm going to do that i'm going to yeah that's fine i mean i'm learning to let the old things pass away and at this point i don't think that that's how i should operate so i am more intentionally operating from a place of peace and what that meant for me in the moment is accepting that this has happened and asking myself what i want to do next and i went through the phase of blaming myself as well but eventually i came out of it because something critical i'm also learning is to be kind to myself so thankfully i am not sad i am not depressed despite this major loss um and ultimately i'm excited to do my next thing i have a number of ideas in my head i want to explore um there's this podcast which <laughs> you're listening to and it's the first episode of this i mean it's probably the second if you add the youtube video but yeah so I am happy um and i hope that you are too and i hope that irrespective of whatever disappointment you may be facing or feeling you somehow find 
an opportunity to be happy and this is something i talked about in the last youtube video i put out that at every point in time when you look around you there will be opportunities to be happy and there will be opportunities to be sad now the theme with a lot of us that tend to be sad people in court is that we latch on to the sad stuff um sometimes you even find yourself holding on to sad stuff that doesn't directly affect you just because you seek the sad stuff like oh my my distant cousin boyfriend just died oh, i'm so sad and you hold on to that for like two weeks three weeks four weeks and you're letting that drain your energy while there's a part of that that could feel like empathy maybe could you also look at it as maybe you kind of are feeding off the sadness you kind of are enjoying yourself being down because it is familiar and for the most part that's what it's been for me sadness is familiar so while i may not celebrate it <laughs> i like what is familiar and i always tended to go towards it I knew how to manipulate it for my benefit. Happiness is a whole new landscape I'm learning. It's a whole new thing I'm trying to accept. But all the same, my point is, I hope that you are able to find an opportunity for happiness. It could be something as small as the fact that you have two hands. It could be something as small as the fact that you have a good voice. It could be something as small as the fact that you are a great designer. It could be something as small as the fact that you just completed a really exciting internship. It could be something as small as the fact that you are enjoying your music career. It could be something as small as the fact that you're making money. It could be something as small as the fact that you are learning a new thing something as small as the fact that you are growing at work something as small as the fact that your younger brother is doing well in school whatever it is i think you just have to find it hold on to it and operate from that feeling and ultimately they say that you talk about this um, law of attraction which is not something that i have normally subscribed to because it's something i believe in but at the same time don't over talk about because there's a lot of gray areas around it where you might tend to start being um lazy and unintentional about life if you don't take care but Something about the law of attraction says you you can will stuff into existence ultimately. You speak it, you picture it, you imagine it and all of that and somehow the universe bends to your will. I think that that is exactly what optimism is. I think that that is exactly what operating from a place of happiness is and it doesn't mean that in every case the universe has bent to the will of people who subscribe to this it just puts you in a position to more likely attain things you seek it sets you up for success more than not believing like it's like those who don't believe almost definitely would not achieve it why because you wouldn't even be putting in the effort to achieve it you wouldn't even be making the micro decisions to set it up to be more likely to become a reality you wouldn't even be making steps towards the direction you seek versus the optimistic the one who is looking for reasons to be happy the one who is hoping that everything goes well naturally you would be inclined to make the right decisions that propel you towards the outcome while it may not always work it's it would the likelihood that it would work for you is like far more than the likelihood that it would work for a negative person who isn't even making the effort so i hope that you find that peace and 
i'm going to end this episode on the note that there's opportunities all around you and you need to find the right one and i hope that you are in a place where you choose the right one which is going to lead you to happiness ultimately thanks for listening to me i hope that something i have said brings you some new realization or some, in some way grounds you and yeah i'll see you in the next episode i love you